Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch this side and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dianese TR Course Out race boot, available at Revzilla.com. So new for 2013, we see the TR Course Series from Dianese as really an evolution of the TRQ Series. Remember, this is the TR Course Out. There's also a TR Course In. And remember, this is the baby brother to something like the Torque RS, which is now their beefed up version before you get into the Axial Pro system that you see on Valentino Rossi. Again, you're still around that $300 mark. And really the two key changes on the name change here for this year, there are a few things. A slight restyling from the ground graphics side of things, but really that's not the key point. The key point is that Europe has now changed its CE standard for boots, and Dianese has made a lot of changes to this boot interiorly to make sure that it passes that CE standard. So again, it's nuanced changes that just make it a more efficient boot for that process. And again, that's why we see the TRQ series, which I can show I show you here on my left, that's why it's going away. And remember, the TR Course also comes in the air version, which is vented, has a perforation scheme, and there's also the WP version, which is going to be that waterproof version at around the same price points. Now, if we look at it, remember, from a fitment standpoint, it's a European fit, European sizing. We have a size chart. No surprises here. The U.S. market has responded really well. They're not having any issues with width, but we do ship for free over 39 bucks. So the TR Course is going to be a no-brainer if you're not sure about your sizing. And as I walk through the boot, I'd love to hear your gut reactions. Subscribe to us at Revzilla TV and leave me your comments and your questions as I go. A quick additional note on sizing too, and one of my favorite things about this boot, is it does use a non-removable inner booty design. I guess I'm starting from the inside out today. You see it doesn't come out, it has support, has plastic that wraps around the foot, but what I wanna show you is that one of the few boots that the, the entry and exit is going to be up the Achilles tendon. So it's YKK zipper up along the back, but then depending on the size of your calf, you have, you have these Velcro almost adjustment panels here that allow you to change the circumference depending on your suit size, depending on your calf size, depending on how you're built. So that's a nice fine tuning feature. Now, moving back to the outside of the boot. Remember, it's a microfiber upper. That's kind of a synthetic leather. No imperfections, it's going to be light, lightweight. It will hold up over time. Starting with the sole then, the other key component here, you're looking at the DTEC sole, which is a race sole. You see the same sole as you go up into the Torque RS series, in the Axial series. Again, you're not sacrificing anything by way of quality. And it's a sole, in my opinion, in my experience here on the tier course, that feels very broken in the first time you're riding it. It's the perfect balance between response from the bike as well as protection and grip on the bike you know, in a hardcore riding positions. Remember, this is a track boot designed to cover your foot and be aggressive in the tuck position on the bike. There are guys, God bless them, that ride this bad boy on the street, but in my experience, it really is designed to be a thoroughbred for the track. And again, that more uh, medium price point from Dianese around the $300 mark. Now looking into some of the external components, remember this is the black, white, red version. The toe slider, which is replaceable, it's going to be a PU slider. Become, when you go into the Torque RS, it becomes a steel or metallic slider, but you still have this entire seat of PU wrapping around your heel, your ankle, and moving all the way up. And you have this axial, dual jointed axial support system here to guard against hyperflexion, hyperextension, again, to keep your leg and your ankle within the natural range of motion on the boot. And you can see how that goes all the way up and wraps into great shin protection here, which is rock solid shin protection in his full height race boot approach. Now, one of the other things I wanna talk about as you move into the side, you're gonna see there's an asymmetry here. And you can see that this you know, skeleton that goes throughout the boot, wraps around the heel, you see the counter come up, but the asymmetry comes into place when you have these two panels that are really grip panels, not meant to be slide panels on the inside. You see it starting on the instep, moving up around the ankle, around the medial malleolus support, and you see it down here along the heel as well. That's gonna interface with your bike. It's going to give you more response, give you more feedback from the bike. Again, it's a different durometer. It's gonna wear really well, but they've done that to create another area of feedback when you are in that tuck position. Moving back in the instep, you see the elasticated bellows heel for comfort and flex. And then this material that complements the that complements your microfiber or your synthetic leather so well is called D-stone material. It has a light stretch to it. It's very abrasion resistant. It's a woven material. And we see Dianese use it on, its, on their more high-end gear, whether it be gloves, whether it be boots, or whether it be apparel. They're using this material, again, in flexible areas that need to still be highly abrasion resistant. The last piece of the puzzle here is you're getting that same dual stitch, recessed stitch shift panel here in a highly tactile rubber that has a very high grippiness to it to interface with the controls on your bike. And again, 
This is going to be the TR Core Series. Remember, newly CE rated for 2013, replacing the TRQ Series of boots from Dionysi. Four or five colors available in this bad boy. And remember, you go to, into the Torque RS family from here. The next step in your journey is to click right here and read other rider reviews at RevZilla.com. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we do ship for free. And if you want to talk to a gear geek about our experience rocking Dianese race boots, which so many of us do, see us at RevZilla.com via email or 877-792-9455 via phone. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the new Dianese TR Course full height race boot. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.